Hey, what's going on? Smoking with Scruggs here. It's a little chilly today, as you can tell by my stocking hat. We out here making some grill modifications today. I thought I'd show y'all what I did to this uh, to this um, rotisserie that I got. What is it? Expert Grill, the Walmart brand. Yeah. So yeah, let's uh, let's check it out and see what I see what I did here. So I had me a, a new uh, grill grate that I hadn't used in forever. I don't even know where I got it from, but I figured I'd set that in the bottom and that would keep the, uh, the coals and stuff from burning that bottom out. But then I even went a little bit further. I got me a couple of nine by 12 inch pans and I cut the ends off of them and I put them together I was going to try to staple them, but my staples won't fit on there. So I found these little clips that you just, you know, where you put on your cereal boxes and stuff. And I just put those together and I cut some holes in the end of them for some vents. Because the vents are in the sides here. And I'm going to be honest with you, I don't think gonna get much flow out of these but now I got easy easy clean up charcoal there and the vents don't line up perfect but hey you know for what we're gonna do we're gonna find out anyway so and then I uh, bought this cool deal check this thing out so I got me a rotisserie basket I'm gonna try cooking some wings on this rotisserie basket. See how they come out. And um, I got this from I think it's called Only Fire or One Fire. What I did was this thing's pretty big, so it's kind of hit the hit the grate. If you put the grate here, so what I did was I took me an old grate that I had. And I chopped it off so I could kind of use this as like a warming area. Or maybe even cook a couple chicken breasts on that, which is what I'm going to try to do today. But, yeah. It's going to work out pretty good. That's on the lowest setting. And we're going to try this thing out and see how it does. But, yeah. I don't know. I think it's a pretty cool idea. 